So uh, let's get to some footage here. I'm going to go through and show you some uh, footage of me towing with a view out the back and we'll get some footage from the other camera as well and then I'll go through uh, my likes and dislikes. There are a few dislikes to this system but overall it's been pretty good. Okay so these are recording straight out of the the camera's uh, SD card. I haven't altered them or anything or edited them in any way so you can sort of see what the the pure footage is like. Uh, the footage on the actual screen is a little bit better because um, you know there, there's some kind of loss in the recording but overall looks pretty good. This is the rear facing uh, dash cam that normally you'd put on the front and I decided to put on the, the rear of the truck. So you can see it can be used as a rear view mirror for the truck. Works pretty good. Like I say if I was using it for short trips and stuff it's fine but if I was using it long term, I'd probably take it off and just use my rear view mirror. And here it is, another view just backing into camp. Give you an indication of how it is in a in a bright scene there. And we'll do kind of a hookup. This is one of the, the things I like about it is I can use it as a rear view mirror. And it helps me when I'm backing the truck. I can really get things lined up with it versus my regular rear view mirror. And then usually I would have the I'd have to turn put the monitor on after I hooked up because the old monitor didn't have this kind of view, so uh, that's why I think I'm going to be using this one versus the the Byte Tango Seven. And a little bit of view pulling out. Those words there are a reflection from the inside of, of something that's sitting on the back seat. But uh, that's pretty cool. Kind of see how how the hitch is going. If I want to check on the bed or, and and what the hitch and stuff's going on, I can just swipe the screen and get, have a quick look at it. So here's the rear screen going down a, a busy interstate, and it gives you a an indication of what it's going to look like. It's really nice to be able to see the traffic behind you. That's the the big thing about these ob rear observation systems that I love. And there's a little bit of a uh, jitter in the motion, you know, because we're going probably about, you know, 60 miles an hour there. This is one of the downfalls I find of this particular camera is it in bright scenes it kind of overexposes like you see how the road is really bright. Like it's a really bright sunny day right now. But you can see how it, things kind of wash out and uh, you get to white white areas. Now the pavement is changing now. We're actually hitting a brand new patch of pavement that's really kind of dark black. They must have just paved this. This is going through Glamis uh, sand dunes, Imperial sand dunes, the Glamis where, where they like people like to go with their off-road vehicles. So it looks like they put a brand new stretch of road. So it doesn't look too bad that you can see the sky is quite washed out in this scene, but you know, as a as a rear observation, it's fine. You know, basically, you want to see if there's somebody behind you. It's kind of windy. That that semi truck's kind of being blown a bit there, blowing sand. You know, it's a little bit of a, a good sideways breeze as we went through there the other day. Here's more of a close up view. So the resolution is quite good, nice and sharp. You can see it's kind of getting a bit of a a lag here. In the, it's got to do probably do with the wireless signal. Maybe there's wireless in that that semi truck that's interfering. You never know what's going on. Here's another bright scene. I'm entering a little town in the Southern California called uh, I forget what it's called. But uh, the same thing, the cement was really bright white, so with the bright sun, it was really kind of washing things out. Some of the poles, too, had a little bit of a uh, double image on them. Kind of picky, but I just want you to see what the actual real-life footage is going to look like.
And we'll turn a corner and have the sun almost straight behind us so we can see it really starts to get washed out under that, that type of scene. So I've told Hale of you about that. So maybe they can work on adjusting that in the future.